Hello and welcome. This tutorial will teach you how to modify data that you might have gotten from something like SurveyMonkey or an online questionnaire um, in Excel um, so that it can look meaningful. Uh, bear in mind that they have their own pre-made graphs but maybe you want to do some editing of your own or compare some data that they haven't done for you um, and you haven't got the premium feature. Um, therefore, how can you do that? Well, we can copy and paste these results out of here as you can see highlighted control C and then I have just pressed control V to paste them in here before you start you're gonna need the Excel document which is linked in the description of this video below so we're gonna delete these blank spaces you can click on this entire row uh, which is pretty much useless um, press right click and press delete um, alternatively if we click on this one then hold down control we can select multiple right click press delete as well uh, now I've gotten rid of those blank spaces in the middle um, some of these headings are really big so we're gonna shrink those down by putting in acronyms RPG for example MOBA and we're gonna copy these across using control C and control V to paste them um, that looks a little bit better um, and you'll notice the cells have readjusted if they haven't you can just click on them and drag them to the right size one if you highlight multiple ones um, and then click and drag you can change them all to a consistent size there's a blank one right there let's get rid of that uh, now the data looks a little bit better maybe we want to put some borders around it highlight a lot of them and you can choose a border makes it a little bit clearer for all and sundry uh, do we want to change the size of this one you can just drag it like this it's that easy this is our data obviously we didn't get a huge amount of respondents so what we're going to do is convert this into a percentage um, and to do that you need to do two equations the first one is a sum equation uh, you can see here that this is merged you can unmerge it using this and you have to do it for all these or you can just highlight these and delete them and they will be no longer merged there so two equations equals S U M open bracket this means we're going to add all these numbers together click the range you want drag down press enter there is our sum do the same for these two beautiful all right now we want to work out the percentages respective of the total so we're going to click here we're going to press equals and we're going to click on the first bit of data now we're going to use the divided by symbol forward slash and then we're going to click on our total down here um, and that says C8 now if we press enter um, we can see our percentage if we choose the percentage option because that's in decimal now it's in percentage um, and that's 60% of the total data now copying our formula down which involves clicking on the bottom right hand corner and dragging down um, generally results in you know moving the same formula that you typed in um, and then just adjusting the cells so that it does the next number below it. Um, but in our case, you can see here that this red one is, has moved down into a blank. So if we drag it up, it changes it. And if we don't want it to do that, we can do one of two things. Uh, we can either use a thing called absolute cell referencing, uh, which involves putting dollar signs in front of the coordinate C8. And now when we press enter and drag that down, it will update respectively our other alternative is just to type in the number manually so if we type in equals click on this one then divide it by the number 10 uh, which we know our total won't change uh, that will stop that from happening as well so either or i don't mind uh, highlight those turn them into percentage again and there we have the percentages of our data and we're going to do the same thing over here and i'm going to fast forward this to make it go a bit quicker All right, now that you've got your data, we want to arrange it in an easy way to make ourselves a chart. Um, we can see that the data comes from PC, Xbox, and PlayStation. These columns are repeating. You can see the genres are the same every time. So what we're going to do, copy this, paste this here, just randomly in the middle. Sure, why not? And we're going to write PC, Xbox, PS. And we're going to write genre up here. As you can see, we're making our columns and rows for our new table that we're making. I'm going to highlight them, press Ctrl B to bold them, because you generally want to bold all of your headings and stuff. Now we're going to copy our data from PC Gamer Data, press Ctrl C. 
Um, and if we were to press Control V, our formulas wouldn't really work. So what we're going to do is right click and then choose V or select this option, which is values. That should make that work. Do the same here, highlight, copy, right click, press the letter V. That'll paste in the values, not the formulas. Same thing again, right click, V. Now you just highlight them, convert them back to percentage. And now we have data ready for comparison. Um, you can see we've got some zeros here. The puzzle game genre is non-existent. So let's just get rid of that from the data. Now we highlight these, go insert. Let's go with recommended charts. And we have a graph. I don't really mind which one you choose as long as it's meaningful. Generally, a graph needs to be able to convey the information clearly and easily so you don't have to look at it for a while. Let's go with the top one. It's pretty clear. You can make them bigger by grabbing a corner. That's a little bit clearer. Um, why don't we make the colors actually mean something? So generally, Xbox has a green color. So if you click, you double click so that you can see it selects the one item by itself. Um, we can go here, you can change the color, yeah, go with green, why not? Uh, PlayStation is generally blue, I find, so let's go with blue and PC, let's just pick a different color so that it doesn't clash. Let's go with red. There we go, easy to see now, we can see the percentage of individuals that play each type of platform and their interests, but we don't really know that because there's no titles, so we're going to whack those in. Uh, so up here, this little plus, and this will pop up depending on which side of the screen, it doesn't really matter. Access titles is what we want, and now we need to put in a title that is useful. So we're going to say percentage of users. And then we're going to write here, we double click on this title, we can give it a meaningful name, um, genre popularity compared to platform. Sure. Maybe we need to make this one a bit bigger. Although this one also doesn't have a heading, let's call it genre. And if we make if we click here and increase the font size, this makes it a bit clearer. And there we go. Thanks for watching. Use your new skills for good, not evil.